What's the weather like outside? Here's the forecast for today. 51 degrees, babe. It is beautiful outside today, guys. One thing you guys don't know about Alyssa is that she's very particular about her eggs. And pretty much every time I make her breakfast, I do something wrong. You only have a limited window. There's a limited window and you missed the window. Mm, I think you missed the window. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. It's okay, delicious. Whatever this guy's name is, this is like the ultimate egg seasoning. We call it Tony Teachers. Yeah. Uh, we that's probably not how you pronounce it, the name of that stuff, but whatever. So after breakfast, we're going to the gym and Alyssa's breakfast carb choice today is pound cake. Apple cinnamon loaf, perfect. The perfect pre-workout. You suggested cereal. Yeah, cereal's a good workout. For breakfast today, guys, I'm just sticking with what works because Alyssa and I, we're going to the gym after breakfast. So this morning, I'm having 100 grams of brown rice with three eggs. And then I'm also having 180 grams of ground turkey, a little bit of pizza sauce. What are you even doing in there? I'm ready to go. Let's go. Alyssa and I are at the gym, got our pre-workouts. I went with the Rockstar Pure Zero. What'd you go with? What is that? Starbucks pumpkin spice? Yeah, but mistake. Yeah. Not very good. Real basic. About to get our swole on, right, babe? About to get swole. Uh, yeah, I'm well, getting buff. Alyssa's, Alyssa's getting this buff. Is my year. I'm not. <laughs> it's almost over. But there's still two. It's leg day today. I think I'm gonna do a five by five on legs. Hopefully, three, three fifteen, three twenty is kind of my goal. But I don't really know if that's gonna happen because my knee is kind of acting up. So I'm gonna go in there some squats. We're done with the gym. What do you want to eat? Fried rice. <laughs> yeah. Alyssa, I, I got a question one time and it was, does Alyssa diet with you? Does she follow the, if it fits your macros? Not at all. Yeah, what? can I just put like a small fry in gravy? <laughs> Bye, Ed. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Later, guys. How are your fries? Fantastic. Best fries you ever had, right? That's right. So first you hit the french fries, and now you hit the Sour Patch Kids, eh? Mm-hmm. What a... I have to cleanse my palate. What a combination. One of my best friends in the entire day world day, but... is over at our apartment. We're all going out to dinner. It was kind of like a last minute thing. We decided we're going to Canada, we're going to an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet that none of us have been there before. Apparently you order from an iPad and all of your sushi is made to order. So I'm really excited about this because I've only eaten one meal today. So there's a lot of sushi that's about to be demolished in Canada, especially between me and this guy. That's, uh, that's Eric, He's my best friend in the whole world. So we just got to the restaurant and it looks super packed. There's like, looks from the outside to be like an hour wait. It turns out there's a 45 minute wait. Apparently this place is super popular. When we cross the border, the border patrol agent, they always ask you like where you're going and I told him we were going to Wind, the all you can eat sushi buffet. And I asked him, have you ever heard of this place? And he was like, oh yeah. He got like super excited about it. So I apparently can make reservations here if it really is that good and we like it. We're definitely making reservations the next time we come here. We've been waiting in line 40 minutes. And this is a table that's literally been open since we got here. Pretty much. I'm just glad my wife looks good tonight. <laughs> our wife. Our, our wife. I'm getting one of these, this black dragon roll. That's what you got too, Eric? Yeah, he got the black dragon roll. I'm getting one of those. Sounds really good. Starting dinner off a little bit of seaweed salad. These are like the smallest seaweed salads I've ever seen in my entire life. We should have probably ordered like six of these. Well, that's all you can eat, so you can't. Sashimi is here. What was the name of this roll? Because I'm Dragon obsessed. Roll. This is really good. You guys gotta try this. Like salmon, super, yo, super good. Tobiko. O M 
Mr. G. And avocado. So we're just making our way through round one of our sushi and I think everybody, speaking for everybody, we're obsessed with this place. Easily worth the wait. Eric's coming here every week. <laughs> yep. By myself if I have to. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm sick. He's, he's not even gonna come with us. He's just gonna come he's gonna come alone. Back in America and everybody ate so much sushi they wanna go to bed. Air Bear, is all your blood in your belly? Do you just you wanna go brown. sleepy? I want let's just go sleepy. You smell nice. I do? So I'm just about to go to bed guys, but I'm figuring out what I have left macro-wise. I, I put into my fitness pal what I kind of thought I had at the restaurant. Like you can see salmon sashimi, and I think I had like half of an avocado, so I counted that as 60 grams. But a quick tip for you guys is to use the carb, protein, and fat items that my fitness pal has to guesstimate. It makes easier It makes it easier to guesstimate your macros, and that's kind of what I did tonight. So right now, I'm at, oh, this was, it's already past midnight, so it went to the next day. Right now I'm at 181 protein, 221 carb, and 54 fat. And by the way, guys, that's an overestimation of my macros because I always overestimate my macros whenever I go out to eat. I just like to be on the safe side of things, and I'm still not going to hit my carb goal today. I'm still going to be very much under that because it's just, I, that, that sushi has got me feeling super full right now. All right, so my final meal tonight is 90 grams of extra lean ground turkey with a little bit of hot sauce, and then 280 grams of frozen strawberries, and 140 grams of frozen blueberries. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, hit the thumbs up button because it just helps the channel grow, and I'll catch you in the next one.